Hi, it's uh, Jada from a non-conventional crystal green uh, Andromeda and uh, I wanted to talk about uh, my experience and my um, life path to be a starship and uh, when I was a child I was really interested in uh, paranormal and I was really interested in uh, maybe aliens, ghosts and uh, I, I was looking always for spirituality but basically I couldn't find my spirituality so I, was, I read some books about Wiccan and then I read some uh, books uh, um, about um, maybe crystals, angels and I couldn't find my spirituality I thought that I was not meant to uh, believe in uh, Wiccan and so um and so um i have all and i have always been in a family with many problems which i found out later in my life that is quite normal for a star seed and um and so uh what uh yeah so i was always interested in paranormal um, uh, and I was very, very um, social, how to say, um, I was already a kind of uh, child activist when I was a child, I said that uh, when I uh, grow older, when I grew older I wanted to uh, maybe support Greenpeace, support the Abad, support um, those PETA, all the websites and uh, organization for environment, animals and I already wanted to support this organization when I was a child, when I was a child sometimes I was so sad and because I thought, oh, the world is so um, polluted, oh, it's so sad that there are the poor people in the world they so sad that animals are the going extinct and I, and I was uh, always talking about this and uh, many times in my maybe uh, how to say, I was a very quiet child, I, I had many, uh, very clever, I had many good grades, although I didn't study that much, especially in middle school and high school, while in elementary I studied much, and maybe I had less grades than middle school and high school, and, uh, and I didn't like uh, how the school system was, but I was not a rebel child, I kind of bear the system but I didn't agree with it so I always thought okay I will study I will get good grades but I don't agree with the school system we are in because I think that the people should be valued for how they are and not for their grades although I was very good at school I thought like this and um, I had many friends who were not good at school and I loved them because they were so sincere and good and uh, yeah, really. And uh, I have always been a child that I said that I could do whatever I wanted, my teachers. And um, in the meaning that I could do an anything, I, I was good at anything, aside from, <laughs> that's very funny, aside from physical education. So, um, yeah, so I decided to study, to study informatics. IT at the high school, uh, but uh, I thought, although I liked informatics, I decided to study uh, cultures at the university because languages and cultures because I thought they would be uh, more my path in life, more than uh, facing a computer. I wanted to be with people, also because I really loved uh, to travel. I really loved traveling. And um, and so um, I tried uh, with my spirituality with the Wiccan crystals. Uh, um, actually, Maria Italia name is like a precious stone, green stone, the jade. So actually, I really love to collection crystals. Uh, and uh, although I never understood how to use crystals to heal and the stuff, but I really love crystals. 
and every year when I was a child I went uh, out uh, on holiday with my parents and I would always buy some stone, cheap stone, but I would have a collection of different stones and um, yeah, and I really like maybe paranormal uh, and different things, yeah new age but i never thought to be a star seed when i was a child also because you are a child so you don't know well yourself and um, but more i grew i understood that i had different ideas i thought that the society was not working well to address issues like poverty um, i understood that the, um, i was never believe in any god and so I was always artist and later when I became 18 years old I decided to read books about bodies and I agree with uh, some things of the bodies like reincarnation like um, that we are uh, how do I say we can be gods and we can be under many many things about attachment and uh, I agree with many things of bodies and so at 18 years old after high school I had a great uh, period of thinking because I wanted to take a gap year to go traveling around the world but my mom didn't want so I had to um, I had to take the driving license I didn't want I mean I didn't want to use one year doing nothing and I even didn't want to go to university although I was a very good student I like knowledge, but I think that we should spend our time with other people rather than on books. So, um, so I, I was unhappy that I wanted to go on a gap year because after high school I wanted to go volunteering actually instead of studying and I feel quite depressed about studying, although I was good at it, and, uh, but I couldn't. In fact, I wanted to go to Costa Rica to help some turtles or maybe to, uh, I forgot, in some uh, country in Asia because there had been a big earthquake so I wanted to help rebuild houses and so my main goal was not studying at university no. and so um, I didn't believe in God and I was I didn't believe in religion because for me really, so when I think about Buddhism more than a religion for me is a philosophy of life so I don't need to pray, meditate, it's just something I feel inside. And so um, I think that uh, religion, like money, um, politics, I never like especially politics and uh, um, religion, because for me religion and politics has always been a tool to uh, have the power or over all the people so to um how say to make people do whatever you want just because ah uh, it's religion uh, because you you how to say you are in a group in a religious group you are in a um, politic group so you must hate other people who are different than you. But this that in bandings, I really like the words of Dalai Lama. Dalai Lama said we are all the same, you know. Doesn't matter your skin, doesn't matter your race, we are all the same. We smile at the same, we cry at the same. So I don't really like, um, I'm against any kind of racism, not inequality, and um, yeah. And uh, and so I have always never liked the religion and politics because when you they use this religion and politics to make you hate people who are different, to make you do things which are not good and money are tough with time. The money are also a tool to enslave people because who has money can decide everything. There, there is even uh, Bill Gates. He has, um, a, he has so many things which he says they are good and they are not. For example, he uh, paid some people. He said he wanted to fight poverty, 
but actually he uh, promoted GMO which uh, many people think and also some researchers say it causes cancer to um, destroy uh, poverty but why then don't give work why don't do things which are sure that they will not destroy they don't have any side effect and he also obscured wanted to obscure the sun because he said it could reduce climate change but why not reducing in other ways then you are sure that you don't have any risk so for me who has money has always power to decide everything and I know I may say something which uh, which is uh, naive but uh, think about it money money are all produced by maybe uh, central bank or like some very powerful bankers in the world yeah so if they are produced by people then why uh, if of course there are gold enough gold blah, blah, blah. so these people decide uh, how much money to do if they want to do money they do money for themselves so it's, it's very easy because they have the power to make money so they have the power no of uh, everything because they can make money whenever they want no and uh, no people are so powerful that you you can say much and uh, so i don't like how money and uh, basically when people are poor they have no many choices about their life they have less choices available for their life for example, they cannot study in the university, maybe they won't, even if they are good at studying sometimes. Or maybe they can't eat organic food, so they need to get the polluted food with a lot of herbicide and uh, stuff, carcinogen stuff. People without money, with a few money, maybe they are homeless, so they have no choice to have a room where to sleep maybe people who are poor are more drugged to crime because they have no other op some people have no option to make money maybe they steal maybe they sell drugs and although i don't uh, i don't support stealing or sell, uh, selling drugs but i think it's a problem of the society and i especially came to know now because of my also situation because uh, um, to escape violence in my life I became poor I didn't engage in any criminal activity but I understand now how money can change things who is poor you can always have a critical mind you can always go for a walk you can always go for a walk with your friend but you can't do many things who is money can decide no what you can do, what you can eat, the hospital, because if you don't have money, you don't get treatment. So for example, maybe you have diabetes, you can test, maybe you have allergies, you can not test. So money, in um, they use money to make people uh, go like slaves, no? When you are a star seed, you understand, and they tell you, if you don't know, that they, all of these are matrix that uh, is all uh, the people should live to be all the same like to get uh, to be born to study to work and to have children so this is their life but is it really meaningful for me a meaningful life has always been uh, caring about people helping people has always been uh, going volunteer be nice and uh, help study i like studying some sometimes more than studying i like to read uh, watch videos i like uh, to travel freedom writing so i like freedom and i support freedom but uh, money don't give you freedom at the end because if you don't have them the most of the people on the planet is poor i mean many people on the, the most of the more people are poor than what they are rich so you understand how money control um, 
people. So I have always had these different ideas about life and um, I always love about talk about compassion and kindness that we should understand people. I only don't understand people who are other people. So if some people maybe hit, kill and blah blah blah, no, I don't support them. But I support who has some problem. Also people with mental problem. And uh, I also have anxiety, some depression sometimes and um, because for me the society should not be like this. And um, I think it's always a problem of the society, also mental problems. So um, I have a different approach to life and I have always had. And so, yeah. And so my life has always been, my thinking has always been different. I've always been very critical. And uh, yeah, and uh, my father was violent and I have never liked him. And all my family was like dependent on him. And I was like, why we should uh, live with him? Let's just denounce him and live in peace. But uh, nobody, nobody listened to me. So I had to go away from my home to fly in another, to another country because otherwise I wouldn't be free um, and so I, I'm really against violence for racism and I have always been thinking different and so um, I started to slowly get a different uh, life view from since when after my 18 years old I wanted to become vegetarian but my mom didn't want and I started to be kind of Buddhist and uh, I already like enjoy traveling so basically I won a scholarship and I studied up one year uh, abroad with my university and I still would like actually to study in another country but I, I can't in this moment and um, running away from violence made me kind of vulnerable, weak, poor so I started to quest at a point um, all this kind of negative emotion. In my mind I got a question and the question was if, we di if people die in a place cannot they be reborn in another planet or galaxy? Because anyway the world is very wide, um, I mean the universe is very wide. And from there I also started to see videos of the practical star girl that call Witch Star Girl, which is one of my favorite channels. Thank you for your video. And um, I really liked her video and I started to know about Star Seed because she does like uh, cards, does like reading, she talks about her life, which I really like. She is, looks very, I don't know, I like how she talks. And so I started to follow her and I asked myself, and I asked Star Seed, but it was still not sure. I thought, I maybe because I have many ideas and I am kind of I don't be shy so it was difficult <laughs> to start to do videos for YouTube and uh, I was kind of uh, I had a few friends but good friends and and I was kind of more by myself and I saw some uh, coincidence with Andromeda star seed but also with other star seeds so I was not sure and uh, I started to be in a group, it's called Starseed Group on Facebook and uh, I asked because I looked for a birth chart but I couldn't find uh, because it was month, you know, I was asking myself am I, am I, am I, but I was still not awakened and then I felt fear to be awakened so I thought it's still not my time because I, I already have other problems so I know that uh, if you get awakened many times you have depression a bad feeling, no? The uh, dark night of the soul. And so basically, um, I I don't think I was ready. And I joined this web as this uh, group, and I asked, um, can someone tell me the birth chart? I just took a picture. A guy, um, a man, replied, and there was maybe a moderator or something. And he, I told him I was in a difficult period, hard period. And he said, okay, okay, I, I will do, And but he did just basic, and uh, you know, so you need to give the place of birth, the date of birth, the time of birth, the name, blah, blah, blah. Um, and so, when I gave him precise time, 
he told me um, I was from an Andromedan star seed and he, in fact it really resonated with me all, all my toefell are like that and I'm not even and when I listen light language from Andromeda light language is a language which is kind of universal it's not like a, a alien it's just like a kind of language which is more like emotion how to say em empathic it's not about words, it's about um, energy, feelings, I don't know how to explain. It's more like all the universe, more than just AT and, you know, paranormal. So I listened to this Andromedan light language before of knowing of my birth chart and I felt really bad. I felt a lot of anxiety, a lot of things inside me. I, I got a panic attack and in fact, I found I was Andromeda, but I, I still, uh, is a hard time, so I didn't know, get to know if from the constellation or from the galaxy, although I have a feeling that is galaxy, but I'm not sure, so, yeah, and um, so I, I know that I'm Andromeda, although I think from galaxy, but the men said maybe from the constellation, so, um, yep, and um, other things uh, I have read a lot of things about Star Seed. I'm in the group, and uh, yeah, other things maybe if, we, if you are a Star Seed, you get pallid a lot because you are different when you are a child. I've always been anxious, but I have only been pallid maybe three years in all my you no. Know, studying experience so not so much but many times maybe I was not the one I was friendly with others but maybe sometimes you know ah let's do physical education and I was always the last so um, many people are valid or have a very good life and because they say we choose this path not before of being born here so yeah so we are supposed to get hard times and uh, what uh, a star seed you love probably you love to see